Jazz and Rockets tonight. Game two, NBA playoff series. And Tracy McGrady and company try to go up 2-0 in the series. Andre Karolanko, controversial sports this week. Ended up playing only 16 minutes in game one. Let's see what happened in game two. Carlos Boozer was unstoppable early on. Absolutely. Goes and uses the basket as protection. You see a great fadeaway right there over the big fella, knocking it down. 26-17. Jazz, end of one. Second quarter, Yao Ming starts to get into the flow. And what a great ball fake. Escape dribble left. He gets a lay-in. That's pretty darn good, big fella. And then Tracy McGrady. Oh, and this is darn good. Mm. Going to the hoop, then going to the left hand over the shoulder. T-Mac, I like it. Two-point Utah lead at the break. Third quarter, Darren Williams explodes to the hoop for the lay-in. There's that change of speed we talk about. Not quick, but the change of speed's enough to get him going. McGrady with some acrobatic flair. He had 31 points and 10 boards. Deserves another look. Hang time is what it was all about. Rafer Alston drives baseline, nails the lefty runner, plus the foul. Houston's lead is 62-58, and the Rockets are fired up. Absolutely. What they're doing is they're taking advantage of what the defense is giving them. I've never seen Rafer use his left, but he used it right there and effectively as well. Houston built the lead, five at the end of three, and then in the fourth, they go to Yao, and he scores easily. Well, the big guy really has learned how to score and use his body down the paint, making jump shots, jump hooks, a variety of shots. Rafer Alston hitting the pull-up jumper, and then... A little bit more of Carlos Boozer, who had 41 and would not go away. He cut the lead to four late, 82-78, but McGrady tosses the alley-oop for Yao. And once again, the two with a dynamic combination in the ball game as they go on to win it. Houston 98, Utah 90, McGrady and Yao combining for 58 points. Boozer 41 in a losing cause.